bundled away by the security forces, Pakistan's former prime minister and the man who looks to be the country's most popular politician. Imran Khan had arrived in Islamabad this morning for a court appearance. After being ousted last year, he now faces dozens of criminal cases, which he dismisses as politically motivated. He looked on with characteristic coolness as paramilitary rangers stormed the premises to detain him. The supporters reacted with fury. and in unprecedented scenes, directed their anger against Pakistan's powerful military, blaming them for his arrest. In Lahore, they started a fire outside a senior officer's house. This protester filmed himself in the grounds. Congratulations on the revolution, he says. Generals can't decide the future of this country. Only the people can. These scenes inside the commander's residence are mind-boggling. Even publicly criticizing the army in Pakistan has been considered a taboo. The military has directly or indirectly controlled the country for nearly all of its existence. But the army leadership is in a showdown with Imran Khan and is backing his political rivals in the current government. At a rally on the weekend, Khan repeated allegations that a member of the intelligence services was involved in an attempt to kill him last year. Imran Khan recorded a video as he set off for court this morning. If you want to arrest me, he says, then just bring a warrant. I'm ready to go to jail, he adds. His supporters had managed to fend off previous attempts to take Khan into custody, warning his detention is a red line. He came into power with the help of the generals, but then fell out with them. The military has a long history of bringing prime ministers into office and then toppling them. But Imran Khan and his supporters are fighting back in a way no one has seen before.